So today we have an iPhone 8 uh, with no power issue. Um, phone seems to be fine. Um, let's uh, plug in the charging port and see what we get. So we get no response. Let's open up, take a look. So there's no response. Um, okay, let's plug in the uh, the treasure. Try star tester and see what we get. So it looks like the uh, we have a bad charging port. Let's try to replace the charging port and see if it works. Okay, let's plug in the charging port and see if we can get it to charge. Okay, let's plug in the charging port. So is boot looping. This look like this battery is not good. So let's go ahead and place the charging port first. Start. Let's try it with a good battery. Do you see it powers up? Okay. Let's plug in the charging port. Uh, charging, charger. Okay, so let's boot it up. It's charging, but it's abnormal charging. Um, it's only charge at um, pretty low. I charge at um, 0.7 amp, and it's like it's not charging. It detect the charging port, but it's not uh, charger, but it's not charging. It's on zero percent. Um, it means that. Um, could be a bad transistor from the battery connector. It's a common issue due to pry damage. Let's look at the microscope. Okay. So we can see that it's damaged. Um, 
probably do two, probably damage. So, as you can see, there's a transistor right here, and it was pi off. So this one connect to this one. Let's go to uh, ZXW. Um, let's go for iPhone series, iPhone 8. And let's go to one, either one is fine. Um, what's the battery connector? Here's iPhone. So this is the one right here. So it tells um, uh, the if the battery connect to the uh, uh, charger or not. So it tells the, the battery tells the battery to charge. But this one is uh, got pry off, as you can see. So um, it's no longer lo longer there. So we need to replace this uh, transistor right here. It's Q3200. Um, so, let's see. So this one is gone. This one right here is gone. So we need to replace it. Uh, that transistor. Um, so we need to take the board out um, because we don't want to damage anything else, especially the speaker. When we put heat on it, the speaker will melt. Uh, so let's go ahead and take the board out of the housing. Okay, we took the uh, board out of the housing. Let's get the dust cover up too. So that way we put a heat on the board, it doesn't melt all over the board. Just put some alcohol on it. So this one got a couple of issues. Um, the charging port was also damaged as well. It was bad as well. It looks like when they tried to replace, the customer tried to replace the uh, charging port, uh, it, they pry up this transistor as well. So the transistor tells, you know, if the battery is connected to the charging port, uh, to the char to the charging IC or not, and it tells you know the percentage of the battery. It's like a gas meter or a battery meter. So, let's put some. Put some flux on it. So we can remove it. Okay, it's gone. Now let's find a transistor for it. So it's iPhone 8.
What's this? Oh, where is it? Darn it. Where is it? Ah. There it is. So small. Okay. Look how tiny it is. Okay, let's try to reflow it. Thing to fly around. Okay. Lights in. Let's move around a little bit. Nope, it's not in yet. Let's try to measure it. See what we get. Oh man. Okay. Okay, it's good. So we get 0.63 volts in dynamo re reading, 0.65. So it's good. So we just replace this transistor right here. Um, now let's back put back into the uh, board housing and see if it's charged, just or not. So let's cool down the board a little bit. Okay, so. Um, So we replace this transistor right here, and we measure the value, we get 0 0.63. This one is 0 0.66, which is our similar value. So it's good. Okay, let's see if it um, charges or not. OK, 
Okay. Looks like it's charging. Okay, it's charging at, um, let's see, where is it? So it's charging at um, 1.8 amps. So just wait a little bit for it to uh, fully charge. OK, so it's phone being charged for about five minutes already. OK, looks like the phone is charging now. Look, at you can see the charging uh, um, sign right there. And it's charged at 1.7 amp. Uh, it's taking the 0.17 amp, which is pretty good, a normal charging. Okay, so the phone is charging fine. Um, so, um, so this phone was um, this one had a um, had a bad charging port, and also um, we replaced the charging port, but it's, it detect it's charging, but it's not charging at full capacity. Um, it's shown zero percent on the battery. Um, we found out that you know the um, the transistor was pried off, uh, I guess during the uh, remove process by uh, the customer when they tried to change the charging port. Um, so we replaced that. Now the phone is charging fine. Now it's power up and charging fine. So that's that's this guy for uh, for this repair. Uh, pretty simple repair, but um, there were a couple of issues that we need to fix. Um, the charging port and also the um, the transistor that was that was pried off, so we replaced them with a new transistor. Now the phone is able to detect the battery uh, and the battery meter. Um, so that's it for this repair. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, if you haven't hit the like button, please do so, and subscribe to our channel to see more content like this in the future. Bye for now.